in the midst of chaos, when victory hangs by a thread, and the battlefield cries out for a hero, emerges the unsung savior of squad. Often overlooked, yet indispensable, the medic stands as the beating heart of every team, turning the tide of war with skill, tact, and the will to clutch. My name's Urso DeSono, and welcome to the ultimate guide on mastering the medic class as a new player in squad. Today, we embark on a journey to unveil the power and potential of the battlefield's most pivotal role. First things first, let's talk gear. The medic kit is equipped with everything you need to save lives on the front line. Bandages, a medical bag for healing, and smoke grenades for concealment during revives. Understanding your toolkit is the first step towards becoming a squad's lifeline. In the heat of battle, when all seems lost, a medic can turn a dire situation around, bringing fallen teammates back into the fight. A medic is equipped with 9 bandages. This is 7 more than every other class gets. These can be used to stop a friendly's bleeding or revive them. Pull it out and hold your left mouse button to heal friendlies and hold right click to bandage yourself. The medic is also equipped with the medical bag that allows you to heal your teammates to full HP after they've been shot or after you revive them. Using the medical bag is the same as bandages, right click to heal you, left click to heal your friendlies. This same system is applied to the medical bag for healing. Left for friendlies, right for yourself. To fully heal a downed friendly, you must first bandage them and then use your medical bag to fully heal them. Let's talk revival strategies. It might seem like a good idea to revive everyone before healing, but in reality, a freshly revived player is a sitting duck. Why is this? Well, when a player is revived, they are still within the dying state. Their screen is dark and pulsates. Their weapon sways intensely unless they are laying down. They're pretty combat ineffective at this point. So what should you do? Revive and fully heal whenever possible, or provide just enough healing to make them combat effective in a pinch. Surviving as a medic means smart positioning and good movement. Avoid the temptation of high risk areas. Instead, stick to the shadows, adopt a strategy of aggressive support, and always stay within reach of your teammates. As a medic, your squad success is your top priority. While it's noble to aid fallen comrades from other squads, never stray too far from your team. Remember, you're the backbone, not a lone wolf. One common mistake is getting separated while playing Revive across the map. Always stick, like Lou, to your squad. Your smile not only boosts the team's morale, but ensures you're there when they need you the most. Let's talk Revival Hierarchy. This is what I personally feel is the hierarchy of reviving and healing. Use your best judgment in the situation to adapt to its needs. But a rule of thumb is, Start with the single most important person to revive. This is your commander. I say this as the commander is worth two tickets. They control command assets and the battlefield. More than likely, your commander has run into the fray and gotten themselves killed. After that is your squad leader. They can put down rallies, have placements, and they dictate the movement of your squad, and it's difficult for them when they are face down in the dirt. After that goes your anti-tank, if enemy armor is possibly in the area, then your medic friend if they're present. Afterwards, machine gunner, hopefully he won't get you killed. Rifleman, and I put this class above some others as the ammo they carry can be very crucial at times, so use your best judgment. Your combat engineer, they're pretty much just used for C4 and digging and any other class besides the marksman. The marksman always comes last. He's oftentimes three grids away and looking at how detailed the grass is. As I've stated, use your best judgment and use this as an overall ideal revival situation. If your commander is in the middle of the open and receiving fire over their body, don't revive them and look for those in the area you can revive to swing the tide of the firefight. Now let's talk some survival techniques. Engaging in combat as a medic? Well, yes, but with caution. Your primary mission is to heal, not lead the assault. Stay out of the direct firefights, but don't shy away from protecting your teammates if the situation demands. The key to being an effective medic is staying alive. It takes time and a sense of game knowledge to perfect when to stay in the shadows and when to strike. 
make sure you utilize movement to your advantage I have a guide on movement here. It'll really help you rat out those situations that you need to clutch as a medic. Another thing I recommend is when you approach a teammate to revive them, ask them how they died. That way you can better gauge whether you should be trying to clear out the target in the area or if the area is clear for the revive. Your survival means the squad's survival. Use smoke wisely, move with purpose, and always be aware of your surroundings. Speaking of smoke, I want to discuss one thing I see new players and veteran players struggling with. When to smoke and where to smoke. Smoke can be a tool for you or it can be a tool for your opponent to kill you. For example, if you're thinking about using smoke, ask yourself, does this smoke make it easier for the enemy to push and kill us? Or is the enemy entrenched and more than likely won't leave their safety to push your smoke? Okay, the enemy's entrenched. You're thinking you can use some smoke, but where to throw it? If the enemy's viewpoint is concentrated to a specific spot like a window, doorway, or opening in the sandbag, throw smoke on them. This allows your friends in the area to still maneuver and engage with the enemy with little hindrance from your smoke. If your troops are concentrated in a bad spot, use smoke just past them to hide your advancement and healing. Patience is key with smoke. It takes time to fully plume. Once your smoke has fully plumed, or if you're in a situation where you can get to your target, you can always drag their body into better cover so you can increase your odds of a successful revive. You can do so by going up to their body, looking at their head or any of their limbs, and pushing F. The bleed out timer is a multifaceted beast. It takes into account a variety of different things. A good rule of thumb is just to conceptualize just how long your teammates have on the ground before you can revive them. There isn't a rush. On average, you have plenty of time. We encourage new players to embrace the medic rule, practice it regularly, and continuously adapt your strategies. Your efforts can make all the difference, turning the tide of a battle, leading your squad to victory. Thank you for watching. Dive into the role, keep improving, and we'll see you on the battlefield. Thank you so much to Show of Force for allowing me to record on their server. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more guides and tips on squads.